Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com, and here it is folks, the White Whale. It is the HTC Merge, retail version, official everything. It's got specs on the back of the box. Very, very cool. So this is the US cellular version, one of the uh, three regional carriers it's out on now. Let's get rid of that and show you a quick look inside the box, because I know you kids like that sort of thing. Uh, you got earbuds, nice, okay. Uh, charger, micro USB cable, again, same thing that's in every box. Blah. All right, here's the phone. This is what I care about. This is what you care about. So let's talk about it. That's it. It's the HTC Merge. We've seen this before. <laughs> it's been a lot of months. Uh, probably the main feature of this phone that I'm just madly in love with is, in fact, the keyboard. So it's got a four-row horizontal sliding keyboard. When you open it, it changes the screen to landscape mode. The keys themselves are flat and very well spaced. I like them a lot. Have just the right amount of clickiness to them. You have function buttons, uh, a whole bunch of them there. You can see them in red. You have this little AP1 button. I used to call it API, but it turns out it's a one, and it's user program. So you can, you know, tell to open an app, you can tell to launch a shortcut, your pick, your choice. Very cool. I like to see that. The AP1, you know, name is still weird, but whatever. You got LED lights up there for when you're hitting uh, function and caps lock mode. So close the keyboard and you see it rotates back and pretty quickly, actually. That's it's not too laggy. That's doable. 3.8 inch screen, uh, WVGA resolution like we're used to, right? That's 480 by 800. A uh, little springiness to the keyboard there, just enough, I think, so you can play with it, but it's not going to, you know, come flying open. On top, you got the power button and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the bottom, nothing. Got a little microphone, and you've got your little uh, sliver there to open the battery cover. We'll do that in a second. Micro USB and volume buttons on the left, just like normal, nothing on the right. Uh, the back is actually really nice. You've got a 5 megapixel camera and a flash and your speaker and kind of a brushed metal uh, along with soft touch paint. It feels really good, feels really solid, almost feels like unibody construction, but it's not. And let's just open it up and I'm going to try to do so delicately since we're on the camera here, but it might need a little more force. It's actually not that tough to get open than uh, I'm doing a mess of it here. There we go. So here you go, you got a 1400 milliamp hour battery in it. Uh, it's the same battery, it's a Thunderbolt actually if you have one of those laying around. There is your micro uh, SD card. Now it's not spring loaded, there's a little tab you have to push down there and I'll do it with my left thumb while I pull it out and there we go. So that's how your card comes out. Push it back in there. And that's your uh, SIM card slot right there. I don't have one, but this is a world phone. So there's your battery, there's a SIM card slot, you're good to go. You also have the little uh, vibrating motor, just like the Thunderbolt, it's exposed there, so you can see it. Kinda cool, nice little design feature. I like that a lot. Really, really, really nice phone. So let's pop the cover back on and actually walk you through a little bit of it. it just snaps back on, again, feels really, really good. So there it is, uh, it's HTC Sense. For your UI, there's some really cool live wallpaper. It has little parachuting Android guys. Very nice. Uh, let's see, we'll flip through. Again, if you've ever used Sense, you have Sense again. There is the leap feature, so you can hop back and forth between home screens very quickly. For some reason, I refuse to use it and just love scrolling. So there you have an email widget, text message widget, a bunch of app icons in the search bar. Now you'll notice that's Google search. This thing is not binged. Uh, there's a My Contacts backup from US Cellular. Not a whole lot of carrier customization, uh, customizations here, so that's nice. City ID, can't get rid of it. There's a Peep, that's HTC's Twitter client. There's the Favorites widget, just like always. Bookmarks. Again, this is one of the very first scrolling widgets. I know those are kind of old hat now. Uh, YouTube widget, and you have a bunch of settings toggles down here. Again, we're used to seeing these very uh, standard HTC stuff. Still very nice, very good to see them. Uh, now, Again, with home screens and sense, you have what are called scenes, and these are preloaded sets of widgets and home screens. Actually, they do a really good job of them. So here is the travel one, and see, automatically you have dual clocks up there. So you can have a time zone for home, and you see it has Pensacola, and then one for wherever you're going. I'm not going to Cancun, I wish I was. Uh, you tap it, and it takes you to the clock app, and there is the world phone clock app thingy, so you can change one of the times to your time zone you're gonna be in, and everything is set. So that's actually really nice. And then they, uh, so there's footprints, so you can geotag your photos. Preloaded widgets and stuff. Very, very cool. You can play around with those. There's also the clean slate one, which gives you just everything blank. You can do it however you want. So we'll hit done there. And back to normal. Uh, here's your app launcher. Again, nothing too surprising here. There's Facebook, 
footprints, the my contacts, peep again. Uh, well, it's Wi-Fi hotspot, so that is built into the phone, which is good to see. Again, this will be piggybacking actually on Verizon's uh, 3G network, so it should be pretty familiar to you. We've all seen the Wi-Fi hotspots before. Uh, let's dive into the settings real quick and see exactly what we're dealing with. And software information, Android 2.2. So, you know, it's not gingerbread. What are you going to do? Will it get gingerbread? I don't know. I'd, I'd like to think so. I'd like to think US Cellular is going to have a little life in this thing. 8 uh, gigabyte micro SD card. I've got about a gig of space left over for internal storage. That's not bad. I've got about 380 something megabytes of RAM laying around on which to actually run apps. So it's a hefty device. It's almost 200 grams. Um, it's actually a little bit smaller than the Thunderbolt, which is partly why it feels nice in the hand, but it does feel heavy. It's just about as thick, might be a tad thicker, which is actually kind of saying something because these 4G devices uh, have a little bit of a girth to them. There's the back again, that brushed metal looks and feels really good. So there you go, guys. A very quick look at the HTC Merge. Finally, this one's on US Cellular. We'll see you later.